Hello, uh, my name is Gabriela uh, Orza. I'm uh, teaching these classes at Oxford uh, for almost very pretty long time, almost seven years. Um, we offer here acrylic painting on canvas. Um, you can sign up to our classes anytime. Uh, you can go online or you can call. Um, we have a variety of classes. We are planning to come up with more classes in um, January, probably with um, watercolor and oil painting. Um, we want to try Barbara style and uh, watercolor in January. So we offer classes for the next three months. For you can want, if you want to just sign up for one session, we can have, you can have a try and go home with the painting, or you can sign up for a longer uh, session that goes over uh, four weeks. You come one time a week, and every time you go home, you go with the masterpiece made on your own. <laughs> so if you like what you see today, please uh, sign up, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. So we are starting today on um, this beautiful painting, a birch tree. To make it more easier, more simple, we're just going to do the background all light blue, OK? So to make a light blue, you're just going to mix the blue with some of this white, OK? Make it light. You can have your own shading, so it doesn't need to be the, the same colors that I have. But probably, if you have the lighter, like very light blue in the back, try. You can have darker blue if you like the dark sky. Depend of what time of the day it is, right? Mm -hmm. I will use a lighter blue. And then, after we paint the background, is gonna be easier. We're gonna just draw the tree in the top of this background. If you want more paint, probably you do. A lot of white. Mm -hmm. You want some white? Yes. Also, if you want to paint the edges the same color, if you want to put it on a wall, it will look better. Put in a what? If paint? you want to put the ca canvas on a wall and oh. you hang it mm -hmm. up, it looks better if you paint the. Uh, right the sides of the canvas, right? So you, do you want to more white? Uh, yeah. Did you do painting before? Uh, the other one the, with the guy. You've been here before in this class? That so I if you can just cover the whole thing, all okay. the white, OK? With oh. just one color, just that okay. right now, OK? Everything. OK, can I ask you your uh, name? Oh, what's no. your, what's Terry, your, Terry. Terry? Here, Terry. I'm going to give you a bigger brush because okay. it goes faster, OK? All right. And then I mix this color for you, make it light blue. OK. And then you just go up and down, okay. back and forth, OK? All right. Good. And you, actually, if you put some of the green, you may have like a turquoise, like aqua oh, yeah. blue, right? If you want, like that color. I really like that color. It's one of my favorite colors. So if you mix all this with the light, with a little bit of green. Oops. You have this light, kind of light green light uh, aqua blue. It's up to you. You just use your favorite uh, colors. Yeah. 
Yeah, like Terry. It's good. Look good. If you do, you want the edges too, or just no, the front? I was gonna do them. Yeah. Yeah. So let me take this out. Okay. Thank you. Do you want closer to be closer to it? Probably. And then when everyone is done with the background, we can move on to the next step. So I'm not going to do the bottom of a canvas because it can get stuck on the easel. I want you to take a small brush, uh, either one you like, if it's a, a flat or a round, small brush, so we can draw the tree, OK? You like this? This is a good one. Oh, you want this one. round? No, I can try this one. This is good, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of these brushes, if you want, we had the small one. Okay. And we're going to start drawing. Good. We're going to draw after, after we are done here. Are you tired? No. You want to do the edges too? OK. We're going to start drawing the, the tree, OK? All right. With the, a small brush. Are you comfortable that way, or you want yeah, to come yeah, closer? I'm, I'm OK. okay. So for the tree, to, to do the tree, we're going to mix the color, the primary color, right? You know, all you know, the red. Mm -hmm. what are we mixing red, for? yellow, and blue. You mix it. Are we going to need more blue? OK, yes, we have more blue. Definitely. Oh, my arm is sore. <gasps> Holy cow. OK, do you want blue? Do you need some blue? You need some blue? Oh, oh. <laughs> OK, so you're going to want to leave this to dry, because okay. we're going to paint uh, 
over, eh? Over, right. And you want this to dry a little bit, okay? Okay. Just if you want to do the edges okay. the same color. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do mix red, blue. Red and blue, we have purple, right? And we can put some yellow, and then we can have like a brown color. It doesn't matter what kind of brown. The shading, if you probably but probably it's better to be like a lighter brown. More yellow then? More yellow. Yeah, if you want a lighter color, color yeah. you put yellow and white. Yellow? Yeah, yes. Yellow, so you mix, you start mixing. Um, oh, is that yellow? No, we want to make a brown. So you mix red. blue, red, and yellow. It does, it makes brown, I never knew that that's wild. Okay. All right. I didn't make very much. Okay. And if you want, of course, you want more reddish brown or terracotta, you add more red. So that's how you make the brown. Yeah. And with this brown, we're going to draw, um, just make it a little lighter brown with more, put more white in the color because we're going to draw on a canvas. We're going to draw some help lines, uh, a vertical and horizontal line okay. that's going to help us to uh, draw the composition, draw the tree. So you're going to have a vertical line in the middle of a canvas okay. and horizontal in the middle as much as you can. And you did, see that? Okay, now we're gonna do something else, okay? All right. I'm gonna help you. Do you want me to make you the sure. brown color? Well, whatever color you think. Well, right now we're gonna do a brown because we're gonna draw the tree, okay? All right. So I'm gonna mix this for you. Okay, this is way too red. If it's too red, just put some yellow, more yellow, okay? Okay, so you have this brown, okay. and then if you want lighter color, you can put some more white. Okay. And with this brown, I can help you. You want me to trace the sure, lines? Sure. Okay, so you trace a horizontal line in the middle, so you know where is the middle of a canvas. Uh, so that's, you know where to where? draw the, where your tree needs to go, right? You don't yeah. want it to be too left or too right. Right. Because then it gets out of the uh, canvas, right? Out yeah. of your... Okay? All right. So with this, with this brown, I want you to try to follow me, okay? Okay. And I'm going to show you how to draw the tree, okay? Okay. The tree is, looks like it's in the middle. Uh -huh. But it goes with a... Kind of uh, curve line or hill is called hill ra line, right? Yeah. So, so as you as you see, right, the tree. If you trace like imaginary line in the middle of a canvas here, right, this go in the middle, right? The middle of the tree pretty much is the middle of the canvas, right? 
So your tree needs to be, right? It's a little more uh, of the trunk in the right side, right? And it goes curve or heels <laughs> line like a, right? So this, we're gonna try to draw the tree in the middle of the canvas. What I will do, I will do more like a arch, right? If it's more easier for you, do an arch. And then you can make it how much bigger as you want. See, this, this other side is more straight, right? And the other side is more curved, right? Usually when you start drawing anything on, on, a, on a paper or on a canvas, you're gonna try to make it simple lines. They're just gonna help you to move on with more yeah. uh, detail in, in a composition. So, and, and here, this line then goes in the, I will say, left side. So you can see, you just can play with the, with the lines and you know, the ones that you like, then you can put more accent on the lines okay. when you like the shape, okay? Mm -hmm. As you see here in the top, the, the tree is getting smaller and smaller because the view is from the bottom of a tree, you look up, right? And everything that's closer is bigger, and everything that's far away, it gets smaller, gets okay? Smaller. Okay. Okay. And because we are with the brown, we can just draw the branches. Try not to use black until the last, um, at just at the last um, brush or whatever, the last strokes, we're gonna be with black because we don't want to mix it in the color. The colors can get very dirty if we use black, okay? But if you want a dark color, like this dark brown here, we can just use, again, the way you make that brown, you remember? Just mix red, yellow, and blue. But don't put the uh, white, okay? And so we can trace these branches. Okay. So as you see, you, you can put more branches, or sometimes I, what I do to be sure that I have the right number, you can count them. <laughs> Try to just do a dark, br dark uh, brown. Don't add, do another brown without mixing white. Just the way you did it before, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Do the brown with red, um, yellow, and blue without mixing white in it, okay? Mm -hmm. Then it's gonna be this very dark so brown. So we want dark brown now, mm -hmm. is what you're saying? Okay. All right. I'll get there then. Because it's gonna be just like black. If you put black on, a, on your um, palette right now, it's gonna mix with the other colors and they can get very dirty. All your colors can get gray. 
So we stay away from the black until the end, okay? Yeah, that's almost black. You want Good that job. That yeah, color? that's what we're going to use for the branches. Oh, okay. Yes. So as you see, we have a branch right here, but the tree takes a curve. And one underneath. So as you see, I'm moving my tree a little bit more in the left because I want to have more space for my branches here. If it's purple, just put some yellow in it. Do you need more yellow? Yeah, yeah just add some yellow. Add some more, more yellow. So ju just don't worry about what shade is it. Just draw the uh, branches because you can add later. Okay. You can add any shading, OK? So okay. just don't worry about that right now. Okay. Just take a small uh, brush, just like this, and just draw branches. Uh, the branches. Yeah, because we, we just want dark, to have the drawing right the now. Dark, yes, right? with the dark color. And you can change the color if you don't like that, OK? Okay. Does everyone draw the uh, tree? As you see at the bottom, the tree is very big, a giant tree here. <laughs> Do you need help? Oh. You made an abstract painting. <laughs> Do you want me to draw your sure. tree? Yeah, whatever. You want me to help you out? Yeah, you can. Okay. It. It's fine. Jackson Pollock used to just throw paint. <laughs> He just throw paint on a canvas and nobody else did it before him. So that's how he got famous. Oh. Hmm. So here is the middle of the canvas, okay? And then the tree is somewhere in here in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna draw it for you, okay? Okay.
but I need more colors here for you. So your tree is coming in the left side here. Oh. You curve like that. Okay. The trunk is here. And then so as you see far is you see the tree from like the t the bottom. Yeah. And you look up and it's just Okay. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to do the branches for you, okay? Okay. So you have one here. Just add the little branches and not like that. And a, a bigger one is here. So you did draw the tree. Good job. How do you feel? You feel okay? Good? Happy? Yes, they did a nice job on the tree. They did a nice job on the tree? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. So your tree Bad. is here, okay? It's too fat. It's okay, you can... It is fat. It's a fat tree. I'm gonna erase this color behind okay, underneath okay because right. we're gonna put some white color light color we're gonna need to paint the tree okay okay so you can see the tree okay okay and what we're gonna do now we're gonna add these uh bright colors okay but you do the dubbing like that put just dots okay little dots like this take the yellow okay. and put some dots like that okay? okay let me give you a brush this one also i i want you to change the water when the water get dirty you can just you maybe need to change it because it get mixed with the colors See? Oh, yeah. You okay. just make the dots. That's right. It's going to be a little more abstract. Your painting is going to be abstract. Let me give you some more white and yellow, okay? okay. Or maybe you want another plate? No, that's okay. Okay, what I want you to do, start to do the trunk okay? okay cover this okay. with all this light color okay? okay with the white between these lines okay all right how is going on ladies it's getting good good yeah it's then i'll 
you can do the tree like fill it the in white the brown or a uh, fill make the trunk okay with the brown with the brown okay Because we probably we need to wait for the paint to dry. It's important for the paint to dry so we can add more of the bright yellow. I add a little bit of yellow on my trunk, so I'm going to make it light kind of light yellow or you can make it white You want a fat tree or a s more slim tree? <laughs> you can, I think I'm gonna make it like more, like a giant tree. I like giant old trees. And then you can come with the shading on the tree and add these gray colors. Again, different shades of brown. Use the same brown that you s when we start and you mix the brown before. <laughs> She's doing good. You're doing good too, just keep going. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. So add some shading with more like yellow kind of uh, ochre or yellow on the tree. And then we're gonna do the crown of the tree. With yellow. So if you need another um, Paper plate so you can mix more colors here, sweetheart. Thank you. Do you need another one that you can have yellow? Yeah. We're gonna, you can use the, pa the paint from your other plate. Okay. And then just use this to mix the colors, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you want like different yellows, I'm just gonna put your paint on this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, I'll give you some different yellow. For you too, okay? We're gonna, I'm gonna give you another plate. Okay. So you can have different yellow. Uh, you can put different, uh, the leaves in the top. Okay. The crown for the tree, okay? 
Let me give you the other one. Okay. Here you go. I'm going to give you this brush. Okay. So, I want you to just do the crown right here in the top. More more yellow in here in this area. Okay. Okay, here. And then more red here. Okay. Just fill it in with more. Like if you mix this yellow and red, you're going to have an orange. Mm. You mix this with this. You can have this see some of these uh, leaves yeah. right here. Right? Mm -hmm. Put some of this that goes all the way down. You, yeah. you need to put them where the branches are, mm -hmm. okay? okay? You don't want to go with the uh, vertical lines. Right. You need to make a texture so they can look like leaves, okay? All right. Okay, let's see. Just do this the way I did it, okay? Good job. So again, like you can put the rent in the middle. In the middle, the trunk is in the middle. Uh, that's a big trunk. I know, well, but I. I that's yeah. okay. <laughs> I got a big there, trunk. That's okay. You just now you just go with the light colors, okay? Because you can take off if you don't like it. You can put blue. You can cover up. I can cover that up. Yeah, just don't worry about Which that. One? Okay. Any I'll of just these cover lines. This one. Yeah, just put the the white, and then you're gonna see how thick you want to be. Okay. okay? Yeah, you want uh, a brush for the trunk? You need some yellow? Well, you need some white? I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give you light colors here, right here, okay? Here, Gabriella, take my hand. <laughs> Hold my hand to the brush. You want me to take your hand? Do you want to change the water? I mean? You want to change the want water? To, I can change the water. Okay. She's filling up my... So I will use a bigger brush and just cover it more, because it's faster. The top is red and the left. And here in the right side, okay? Just play with the different. Um, Shading of colors, you can do like darker red, lighter. And you can add some orange. Red, yes. Are you okay with the colors here on this? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. So 
So we can mix the red and the yellow and get some orange. Yes, you can use some white, mix the colors and make lighter shading. Like that, see? I think we can, they're going to have somebody coming at 6, uh, 45. And then we can stay 15 more minutes, I believe. Let's, um, though I'm going to take some time to clean up, but let's do it a little longer, okay? Because we start a little longer, uh, a little late, right? Mm. If you want to stay a little longer, you can. Let me put this. We had. I need that one. Just want to try and get some more of these colors on there. I just want to watch her. <laughs> you just want to watch me painting? <laughs> no, my granddaughter. You're the granddaughter? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's and good. She's she she's doing good. good. You should paint. Try to finish up. No, she's going to help me at home. Oh, you, oh okay. Yeah. You're just going to finish your home? Yeah. Try to do some um, of the crown, the paint. The no? Colors. The colors. The leaves. Yeah. Paint the leaves. Okay. We're still going to stay 15 more minutes. Yeah. If you want, yes. You, I don't, I don't, I can't, like we can't probably say much later. You have to go? Yeah. Well, I offer if you want to stay. Yeah, you are a sweetheart, and we appreciate that. So, of course, you can add more yellow. Just try. Uh, the leaves are different sh size, right? Different shading. You just can play with it and they can get mixed, right? You just use different layers.
And if you just add some more shading. Okay, and you can add some light green mixing yellow and the green, make a lighter green. That almost fell on me, thank you. And put some green. Okay, and then so in the right side is a little more yellow, and also you can add more lines for the tree or the branch, like dark. I would like, I would add some black lines on the tree. Okay, I'm glad. I'm just going to do a whole canvas full of those dots. <laughs> yeah. Right? What the heck? Well, and that's called abstract. If you, it can be a figurative abstract, which it means is inspired by nature, but is like not completely abstract that you don't know what it is mm -hmm. like his his abstract is not rea realistic right he is like cool <laughs> that is cool it's almost like a waterfall <laughs> yeah many time artists use like that like a gesture uh, uh, spontaneous so they can express the feelings the mm -hmm. the idea is not to really copy the nature, but express something that is inside of you. Oh, right. right, and so they use whatever instinct, whatever, right? They use their instinct to pick the colors and they do whatever use they feel soul. at the moment and use their soul, right? So they don't try to just copy nature, right? right. And you can, now you can add a little more dark on your branches, sweetheart, okay? You remember that you've been looking for dark color on your branches? You can add the black 
you can add the black to your brown okay. and make the branches darker if you really want that. Do the darker uh, uh, branches. Okay. You add the black. If you want, you add some black to your brown and make this darker brown so your branches stick out more, okay? I think the cameraman should be made to paint as well. <laughs> <laughs> that way you would have epic for us. Well, how he's going to paint and make the film yeah. in the same time, huh? I know. Who's going to take his place? Not me. <laughs> right. Who's going to film us, huh? Everyone with his gifting, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone is unique. So and add to the add to the trunk some more lines, okay? Of these like dark spots or dark horizontal lines like that. And then in the right side, just add some lighter like white. On a, on a trunk and uh, go all the way up here. See, like that? Because the lights come from the right side of the tree. And then you can make some more texture. And in the top here, you let you have some spots. They are lighter. Does the light go through the branches? And of course, here is a little more like a darker or more gray. You can do mix the br the black and make like a gray shading if you like gray. Mix the black with brown yeah, okay. and have the same colors that you have on uh, your palette. Just mix it with some um, black and have this, you know, like a brown, dark brown. And, and, he, and here in the left side, you can 
add some more, as you see here, is a like light blue. It's like a reflection on a tree. I hope you have fun today. I hope it was a fun class. Oh, yeah. It was, you have fun? I have fun. Thank you for coming. I hope to see you again. We'll see you next week or next month. Yeah, next, well, month. not September, October for the next one. Right? You're going to sign up to the classes? I, I did. We signed up for all four. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Great. Are you kidding? We know who you are. Mm -hmm. You know me for how long? You Like years, years ago before. you yeah, came. We started, we started coming in 2020 right before it shut Both down. of you come? Yeah, yeah, I remember before mm -hmm. the COVID, right? Yeah, right before uh, the what? COVID. Before COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for signing up. Mm -hmm. See you, doll. See Thank you, you soon. For holding the class. Well, yeah, welcome. Okay, uh, Thanks for joining us. Um, I hope to see you soon here and sign up to the classes if you like what you saw. Um, you know, I hope you want to have your own masterpiece on your wall. <laughs> And also you can order a painting, custom painting from the artist. So contact me or contact the office here and, or leave a message and let me know if you want any type of painting. I'm ready to take any type of commission or you want to see my original paintings, you are welcome. Thank you again for watching us.